witnessed all the players walk out of here to the AT&T Stadium for the NFL Draft. It's a big day here for all of us. I am here with no other than Mr. Clarence Jones, who has dressed numerous professional athletes in the NBA and NFL for so many years. Thank you so much for sitting down with me. Well, thank you for having me sitting down with you. Let's talk about the draft and some That's of the players. Right. I know that you dress Josh Jackson. Yes, I do. Tonight, can you tell us a little bit? I know that some people are out there, you know, watching it and they're wondering how is that process? You know, you can, some people just dream about getting close to one of these athletes, and here you are. You meet them, you meet the family. So, how is that process for you, getting to know the guy and figuring out what his style is going to be? Well, what I did with, with Josh Jackson, uh, he's a young man I've recruited trying to get to the University of Iowa. You know, I did some research, I called some people who may know him, family and friends, and it just so happened his agent, that was Tommy Sims, who's already a client of mine, uh, gave me a phone call and told me that he was going to probably have uh, Josh as a client and uh, right. an opportunity to possibly be able to do some work with him. So. so when you sit down and you meet with Josh and meet, meet with the family and everything, do you have a meeting of the minds with him where you kind of figure out what is his style and you know what is he trying to put out there during uh, the draft? Well, what, what I did with Josh is, uh, first of all, I sat down with him for maybe about 30, 45 minutes and just talked with him. Uh, that's usually what I do with a lot of the athletes that I do business with, and not just them, but people in general. Right. Before we start doing anything as far as looking at fabrics, uh, different styles, I usually have them with some particular style that they like. I usually ask them to send me a picture and let me look at what, they, what they're thinking. Yeah. So when I do meet them, I'll have an idea. Right. Uh, what I did with Josh was once we did that, we sat down, we talked about the kind of style that he liked, what he should be wearing for the draft, what he shouldn't be wearing. And uh, we kind of just, at that point, we kind of just looked over fabrics and uh, kind of gave me an idea what he wanted. A lot of these young men, when they, before they get drafted, we talk about clothing. You know, that's not what their mind is. Their mind is on that 40 time, you know, trying to make sure that they're ready for the combine. Right, That's right. usually first and foremost. But once we get to the close part of which is usually the last stages, right. uh, we sit down, we talk about fabrics, the make, the fit. You know, most of the guys want the European fit, you know, tight fit. Yeah, we were talking yeah. about that. It's that tight fit. And that's what they like with the yeah. short, with short, short pants. Yeah, short pants. Yeah. Uh, more of the European style. Right, right. So, it and worked out very well for me. Well, he looks, he looks spectacular. Thank you. Thank you. I want everyone to know, too, you do not just clothe the athletes. You've done some big name entertainers. Well, I've done some work with Mike Epps. I've done some work with Steve Harvey, Cedric Container, D.L. Hughley, a lot of different people. So I have a lot of opportunities, you know, yes. to style for them. And, uh, Steve gave me a big break from probably maybe about 10, 10, 12. I've been in it for 25 years. So you talking about, about Steve Harvey? Steve Harvey, the comedian. Steve gave me a shot before they did the Kings of Comedy Tour. Uh, I met him in Chicago, Illinois, yeah. with uh, a lady named Barbara Bates, who was, make, right. who was currently making his clothes. And so she knew I do custom shirts, so she brought me in and allowed yeah. me to do shirts for him. Yeah. Him and his uh, manager at one time, and then Steve turned me on this guy, Cedric Entertainer. Yeah. And so a few years went by, and they were very happy with all the work. And then when they started the Kings of Comedy Tour, uh, I ran into him again, and they gave me an opportunity on the second tour, the Kings right. Comedy Tour, to do some work for them. And I was able to do like shirts and stuff for Walter Layton, the guy who produced the Kings of Comedy Tour. Right, right. And do you feel that that moment in your business, you know, a lot of our viewers are entrepreneurs, people that are, you know, that are trying to build something or create something or have a passion or feel that they were, you know, put on this earth to do something special. Right, and they want to take down that path, but they don't know if you, when do they feel that it's you know this is it, this is this is actually a legitimate business. Do you think that that was your Barbara Bates, right? You mentioned Barbara Bates, right? She gave me an opportunity. Well, I think it, that was just one of the defining moments for me in business. Yeah. Uh, my first real big break was with that friend Tim Hardaway, who used to play for the Miami Heat, but at uh, early stages, he's playing for the Golden State Warriors. And, yeah. Uh, he gave me an opportunity. I did some shirts for him, yeah. and that's pretty much how I got started. I yeah. started doing shirts for him, and then all the guys that I played high school basketball against and went in Chicago, became uh, assistant coaches starting out, and they all gave me an opportunity, and it, it 
kind of just took off from there. Yeah, and you've been in this business. You are a leg to many of us that are in this circle here that service, especially the pro athletes. You know, everyone knows you. Being here, with, you know, at the draft with everyone, you walk around with Mr. Jones here, and everyone wants to shake your hand. Everyone wants to see you. Do you feel that you, you know, in this business, you've paid your dues? Well, no. I, I just feel like that God has given me an opportunity just to meet people and to help people. I mean, a lot of times in this business, we don't like to help one another. Right. You know, I've always made it my practice to, you know, not make my business about money, but make it about relationships. In my opinion, relationships are more important than money. So, I mean, people call me, you know, are you coming to the draft? And some guys called me out of the clear blue sky, I got my number from somebody, and uh, they wanted to meet me, so they came here. I told them what to do, where to go, and I mean, even though I didn't get a chance to really spend time and talk with the guys much, but the guy was just thanking me. He's like, man, you just put me on a path. I never would have known what to do, yeah. where to go, who to talk to, and I was like, well, Okay. You know, but sometimes I don't, I just do this going to the draft more so to network to help right. other people than to help myself. And I can attest to that because I was so glad to see you yesterday. I know I want to thank you right now for, you know, introducing me to a few of the agents that were here and players even and, you know, allowing me to shake some hands. And, you know, that's how I feel too. It's, we're here to help each, each other, other. And, and help each other grow. Where your business is now, where would you like it to expand to? I like it to expand a little bit far beyond athletes don't get me wrong I have a lot of doctors lawyers you know a lot of common everyday people yeah. you know that do a lot of business with me I like to see it expand a little bit more maybe with pro baseball players okay. I don't have any baseball players it's, it's crazy but very close a few times but every time I get close to getting to a guy he's either been cut or they send him yeah. back down to the minors yeah. And so it makes it a little difficult and meet people that know what they want, how they want it done. Some of those out there that are looking at you and saying, you know, that's who I want to be, that's who, that's what I want to do. What advice would you give to someone that's starting out that maybe, you know, you wish you would have had? What I would probably do for those type of people who would want to be in the arena that I'm in or anywhere in the sport. Usually what I've always done, I've always prayed real hard about things I wanted. I asked God to give me an opportunity. I never asked God to give me anything. I asked God to give me an opportunity. And I feel that if I ask for the opportunity, if I can put one foot in, God will give me two. And so I always tell people if it's something that you really, really want bad enough to pray about it, can you put yourself in a position that people can meet you to know you? Because it took me about five years before I got my first athlete. It took me five years to go into all-star games, combines, NFL and NBA combines, uh, Final Fours. I had to really spend money to put myself out there so people can meet me and they would see me and they're like, man, I've, I've seen you before, what do you do? I let them know I make clothes. A lot of times, they would, you know, it would take a little time, but once I got the first opportunity with Walt Harris, who was number 13 pick of the Chicago Bears, I haven't had to look back since. That was it. Once I got one, it just it kept trickling on down. You get one and that's what you need. Mm -hmm. that's and so I always need. tell people, if you can get one athlete, or just one good person that can just put you in. Right. I mean, the doors will open. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much. I wanted to share a little bit of Clarence Jones and his talent and just, you know, his journey getting to where he is now. I will link his Instagram and business down below as well so that everyone can get a chance to check out your Instagram. Do you want to let, you know, let us know what your Instagram name is? Sure. My Instagram is uh, Clarence underscore 2525. But I always like people to call me if you have questions. My number is 901-378-8273. Again, my number is 901-378-8273. Uh, feel free to call me if you have questions. People who are just trying to start out in business. I don't charge anything for giving advice or helping somebody. Thank you so much. Uh, I appreciate welcome. it. Thank you.